good evening everybody this is Lisa Grundy coming to you and I wanted to talk about showing up I have 80 uh, Woody Allen said that 80% of success is showing up and lots of others say that 90% of success is showing up so if all it takes to be successful is showing up how can we really rock it you know what I mean and so I want to share with you a couple of tips that I have discovered that help me that I've learned from other individuals and that I've learned from working with clients and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you the first three things not to do the first three things not to do is you've heard it before stop caring about what other people think so your new mantra, should you choose to accept it, is I don't give a flippin' fascination about what anyone else thinks of me. Yes, I like to use other F words too, but flippin', flippin fascination is kind of fun. I don't give a flippin' fascination of what other people think of me. Can you do that? You know, it's pretty tough because a lot of us were raised to um, help and be of assistance and to, to always work and strive to help others. And, you know, of course, uh, we care. We thought we cared about what other people think of us. And you know what? Um, that leads into the second thing is that, you know, that need to be perfect that need to be perfect that not only do we care about what other people thought of us but we also thought that we had to do it perfectly and that leads to this like perfection paralysis kind of thing I, it, for me and for a lot of people that I have worked with because when we try to do it perfectly is that you know we're coloring perfectly inside the lines without making a single mistake and we're doing like paint by numbers to use the exact same color that is being suggested instead of deciding if maybe polka dots or green or purple stripes or something like that would work really well and you know when we're so busy caring about what other people think about us and trying to be perfect we're stuck we're we lose sight of our uniqueness we lose, lose sight of our inspiration because well we got to get it right and all these people are telling me how to do it right well let's take a couple of things for instance one thing you're never supposed to I'm never supposed to talk about is religion how many different religions are there in the world that say their way is the right way and if you don't believe in and follow their religion specifically you're going to hell and oh by the way all these religions you know they all not all of them some of them say this and they all contradict each other so you know they're all trying to do it perfectly it's not quite working you are unique you are fabulous you are beautiful and you show up as you do you know how many people told me that I had to do something about my crazy red hair that's why I posted the video the other day when I, that I found about that little girl that's got the crazy hair that stands up on its end and no matter how many times she combs it because let me tell you when I comb my hair and people have seen this they say Lisa what happened to your hair my hair sticks out like this when I comb it so usually uh, I blow dry it or I just uh, finger comb it when it's done when I'm done from the shower so it's a, a little bit more tamed yes this is tamed if you can believe that so many people used to tell me that you know you can't be a crazy redhead and be a successful speaker and to be a successful entrepreneur and I am telling you that when you show up as you you show up beautiful you show up with a smile you show up in the outfit that you feel good in if you like to wear sparkles on your eyes if you love lipstick if you wear no makeup at all if you love to wear black if you love to wear sparkles and bright red whatever it is show up as you because you know what a long time ago as a speaker there was like a formula for the speakers that had to wear and it was this beautiful white shirt and black pants or a black skirt or something like that. It's like, come on now, they all look the same. And I have watched many different speakers on the stage 
women uh, especially to see what they're wearing and you know what they're wearing all different kinds of things sometimes they're wearing really beautiful dresses sometimes they're wearing pantsuits sometimes they're wearing like really cool tops with maybe a skirt or a pair of pants and you know what they're each wearing what they like to wear the clothes that speak to them there was a speaker one time that was a very good speaker and you know I told him when he changed up his outfit I said you know I feel like I can trust you a lot better now because when you were wearing that three-piece suit you just look sleazy and he only looks sleazy because it wasn't in congruence with who he was he didn't like wearing that suit guess what if you don't like it don't do it it's that simple Bob Newhart one time did this video uh, self-help video <laughs> so funny because when someone goes in and tells them what their problem is and then it goes on and on he goes it only takes five minutes for me to solve this and he goes stop it two words stop it and we laugh and we get taken aback a little bit and you know it's like so why do we spend all this time justifying and explaining and finding reasons and getting lost in confusion instead of just being ourselves 90% of success is showing up, and the only way that you can show up is authentically you, authentically real. If you smile, smile. If you giggle, giggle. If you have a frown, you know, rock that frown. If you have a strong presence, be that strong presence. Whatever it is, wear the clothes that you feel good in. Okay, if you're trying to be leadership in uh, various areas and rock the stage, chances are you can't be wearing your holy jeans right off the bat. You know, maybe later you could do that right off the bat. So you have to think about it a little bit and only a little bit in what clothes do I really feel good in and hey you know what for what you're showing up in maybe the holy jeans are perfectly perfect who am I to judge because stop caring about what other people think what other people think is none of my flippin' fascination. None of my flippin' fascination. It just doesn't matter. Because when we spend so much time caring about what other think, and, and, and not only caring about what other people think, but um, giving our power basically away to them is what we're doing. When we care so much about what other people think, and when we're trying to get it perfectly, it says that so many times we're trying to get the how right. We're trying to get all the pieces in order right when we don't even know what all the pieces of the puzzle even look like you know this is how things unfold as we're going after our dreams and our goals and our visions and we're doing those tasks that take us closer and sometimes those tasks they don't work out so well so guess what we pick again success is showing up and showing up means no matter how many times you've been knocked down you get up again success is showing up does this mean that you're going to be rich well hey maybe you want to be there's lots of formulas for that and there's lots of ways to do it. Success is showing up. So the best way to show up is authentically you. If you have crazy red hair, if you have beautiful blonde hair, if you're a rockin' brunette, if you have luscious gray hair, if you like to wear green or purple hair, whatever it is, be you. And don't justify. When you're showing up, don't defend. Don't justify who you are and why you are. Be it. Be it. So in the mirror, every day, before you're going out there, you tell yourself, I am beautiful. I am strong. I am confident. I am self-assured. I can do it because you are beautiful. You are amazing. You are strong. You are confident. You are courageous. You are beautiful bold. You are stronger than you ever knew. You have more compassion for the world at large. You love unconditionally. You are fabulous. You are amazing. You are courageous. And yes, I know I'm repeating myself and I'm repeating myself because as we say these things to ourselves, this little old script comes up. Yeah, but, 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 and you say, thank you. You are beautiful. You are strong. You are amazing. You are a confident. You are courageous. You are powerful. You are awesome. You are fabulous. And then that little voice tries to come up again. But, 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 thank you. I am strong. I am fabulous. I am courageous. I am a woman of compassion. I am a leader. 
and you just keep going on and on and on and you look at yourself in the mirror and you see the power come out of your eyes and the strength in your voice as you stand a little taller and you show up as you whatever your outfit is whatever your hair looks like makeup no makeup whatever it is there is no right or wrong way to do it there is only you there is only you and you are amazing and you are fabulous and you are wonderful and let's keep telling ourselves that and let's tell all the other people that and by the way let's let all young kids know that that the best way to show up that successful way to show up is uniquely you you got that what other people think of you is none of your flipping fascination. None of your flipping fascination. The quest for perfection, perfection paralysis. It's you, baby. It's that magnificent you. And don't defend yourself. Don't explain yourself. And don't justify your existence. Be you. You got that? What did I say? Be you. That is how you show up. 99%. 99 and 3 quarters percent. 100% successful. So, until next time, this is Lisa. What other people think of you is none of your flipping fascination. You have a fabulous evening. And I'd like to hear some of your mantras, some of your affirmations. Because you are magnificent. Till next time. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.